Darling, I'm so sorry I couldn't get the new dress you wanted. I tried to get it before today, but with the move and all the commotion. It's all right, Mother. I don't need that dress. I need you there, cheering me on and smiling for me. I love how full of hope you are. You're just like your father, strong and hopeful. Promise you'll be there, right, Mother? What if, what if they don't like me? Judith, don't worry. I promise I'll be there, sweetheart. Everything will be okay. I'll run along now. Good morning, ma'am. I'm from the United States Army Air Corps. Are you Elizabeth Avery? Yes, I'm Elizabeth Avery. Mrs. Avery, are you okay? Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I am Principal Chapman, Principal of JP High School. I'm proud to announce Judith Avery singing God Bless America. God bless America, land that I love. Stand beside her and guide her through the night with the light from above. From the mountains to the prairies to the oceans, white as foam. God bless America, my home sweet home. God bless America, my home sweet mother. Mother? You did so good, my dear. I I'm so proud of you. What's wrong, Mother? I've never seen you like this. Is everything okay? I'm sorry for acting so odd, my dear. I I'm in shock. Who's that letter from? What what's it say? It's from Mr. Graber. He owns the Olive House. I got a job. Congratulations! I'm so happy for you, Mother. I'm going to tell father all about it in my next letter. May I see the letter? No. I'm going to send Mr. Graber a thank you note. No, the letter's not important, Judith. Come on, let's get back to the assembly. Come on. Don't you know those have to be cured before being eaten? Who sent you? Bobby? I was hoping something had to be done, because these are very bitter. You have a lot to learn. Follow me. So we sort them, steam them, vat them, can them, label them, pack them, and ship them off to the highest bidder. Will I ever get to do that job? All in good time. That's pretty much all there is to it. 
You know an awful lot about this place. You will too. I've only been here a year. My husband is a pilot. He's part of the 69th Reconnaissance Group. I'm so proud of our men. Ontario is such a great place to live at at a time like this. What's the matter, my dear? This job isn't that bad. I know, my husband is a pilot too. He's training for the P-38 Lightning aircrafts. He's been shot down with several other pilots. He's missing, but not pronounced dead yet. I don't know what I'm gonna do without him. Oh, I'm so sorry, dear. I'm so sorry you're going through this. If you need anything. I don't know how I'm gonna tell him my daughter that her father is missing. How old is she? She's 14. You're gonna have to tell her soon. She's old enough to know, old enough to understand, and you don't want her to find out another way. Go to her, be honest, pray, be hopeful, keep the faith, but don't give up. Not just yet. I'm expecting. I don't know what I would do if something were to happen to my soldier boy. What is this? For you, Mother. I wanted to do my part. It was your first day of work, and I'm so proud of you. I hope you like it, Mother. I love it, darling. Thank you. Good? Mmm. Thank you, darling, for a wonderful dinner. You're welcome, Mother. Anything to do my part around here. You remind me of your father. Telegram for Margie Adams. Margie Adams. It can be anything, right? They wouldn't, would they? No. It, it can't be, no! Why, God? He's dead! They killed my husband! My baby will never know his father! Why? God, why? <laughs> Telegram for Elizabeth Avery. Elizabeth Avery. The light from above, from the mountains, to the prairies, to the oceans, wine as foam. God bless America. My home, sweet home. God bless America. My home, sweet home. Thank you so much, Mrs. Chapin.
Why aren't you the popular one today? Good day. <laughs>